I've never seen anything like what I've seen this season with our set. It makes you act in a certain way. You're transported and, and you don't question it. The London streets, that's breathtaking. The set is just incredible. I say to people, you won't believe the set I'm on. Well, you have to have a sense of feeling that things are right. Authenticity is the crucial thing. Costume in this is amazing. You really feel like you're walking around in 1590. The biggest challenges of making season two have been, first of all, recreating Elizabethan London uh, in Wales. That has been such a great opportunity for James North, our production designer. What we've okay. tried to do is try to stay as true to history as we possibly can. And we find ourselves in 1591 in Blackfriars in London. So the overall concentration from our point of view, from a design point of view, is about trying to make sure we recreate period London and try and keep it as true to being historically correct as we can, really, which has been a real challenge. They've built a set on a piece of land in Plasmacken, and it's um, the streets of Elizabethan London. I walked on and I actually burst into tears. It was the most magnificent thing I've ever seen. I felt like I was back there. It's amazing, I mean, there's one, the exterior locations are in a farm, you know, so you, you, you turn up and it's just a farm and you can see all the kind of the, the scaffolds and everything holding it up and you think, oh, this, how, you know, how is this going to work? Okay, and then you, you walk through see, this barn and it, it's genuine like you're transported. It's very expensive to build sets of a certain height, so we then involve our VFX supervisor, Steph Corrin, who will come in and look at what we've already started building, and then he'll extend higher. When we were initially researching the series, we were working with Deb Harkness. She took us for a walk around London, um, but sure is the Elizabethan parts of it, just to give us a sense of the claustrophobia of being there because the streets were so narrow. When I had a bit more time on that set and I was looking around, you could see that there were loads of different angles that could represent other streets. There's about four streets to it, including a market square. I thought it was an absolute work of genius. You've got to feel that it's Elizabethan times. You've got to smell it. It's got to have that sense of, yeah, that sense of reality. Everyone's gobsmacked. I mean, everyone across the board, Sheila Hancock, who has done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of productions and films and TV. She said, by far, hands down, this is the best set she's ever seen. In addition to the production design, there's also costume design and makeup design. Lois Javo, um, our makeup designer, and Sarah Arthur, our costume designer, um, they've faced huge challenges when it comes to actually digging back into the 1590s. Sarah Arthur has spent a lot of time researching um, and working with Deb and looking at various references. You start with the research aspect. It was just a huge amount of reference material. I gathered, read, drawings of original tapestries, and bit by bit pieced things together. These are a pair of boots that we had made of three pairs actually for Diana. They are based on a pair of riding boots from Elizabeth I. I tried to keep it as real and true to the period as possible. It's just so delicious to watch because the costumes are stunning. You really get a sense of the characters from the different styles of costumes that they wear. The costume in this is amazing. It's great fun coming in and getting to put these, you know, getting to put these sort of costumes on. It really helps you to make you feel like a different person. We've got an incredible art department who made it look really fantastic. Costumes, and they're all absolutely on point. It's about suspension of disbelief. You have to work at that, and if you have production design to the level that we have it, costume design to the level that we have it, you know, a hair and makeup team with the, the passion and drive and talent that they have. When you walk into that environment, you know, 
70% of your job is done for you, you know, and then the rest is just to try and, and live in that moment. I've really enjoyed stepping into this period. What a gift as an actor to be able to go and have your scenes on a street where you really feel like you're walking around in 1590. Now it finally feels real. Well, we should probably go back then. <laughs> hey. Come on.